lies ahead of him. Truly a sight to see, the stunning City Hall building here in historic Philadelphia, the site of our broadcast. Happy Monday, and thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. Good evening. Playing Australian rules football, he said helped him too. Thanks, Allie. And the starting lineup for the Magic. We've got Markel Fultz. Wagner is out there with Jonathan Isaac. And then Harris. it's the three and the four. Shake Milton out there with Ben Simmons. And it's Bassey in at the five spot. And at this point of the season, Clark, scouting reports should be pretty set. How important are they for teams? Extremely important. I mean, knowing the other team's tendencies is um, part of preparing to beat them. So we see some teams who swear by advanced scouting. I mean, it's really a pillar of how they operate. They'll use complex defenses, can spot opponents um, after timeout plays, and really put all of that information. It's about data accumulation and then aggregating that data and using it effectively to hopefully give you an advantage in winning the game. The kick out to Simmons. Six on the shot clock. Milton. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Good awareness by Simmons. He's so good at reading the defense and finding the shooter and setting him up perfect. Pass to Wagner. Back to Fultz. Nice start for him. Taking his first shot. And, you know, Fultz has great control on these floaters. Not an easy shot, but he makes it look easy. I think we all must acknowledge that this is a redemption year for Simmons. The Philadelphia 76ers were strongly considering trading him in the offseason. But ultimately, both sides are giving it one more try. But consider this a last chance for things to work for Simmons in Philly. Here's Isaac. Takes it inside. That one doesn't drop. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. They want to keep rolling here following a win against Minnesota. And that one, the other team could not keep up with them offensively. <laughs> they were prolific. Yeah, you know, you can't allow them to get into a rhythm on offense. Uh, once that happens, then you're in trouble. Back to Thibel. Over Wagner. And it's Thibel missing. Good shot, gone bad. you got to finish there. Holtz against Simmons. Down low. Here's Duncan. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. For a young player, I like the way Fultz sees the floor. He knows and feels when a guy is open. Simmons, the pass to Harris. Yes. And that's Simmons with the assist. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. For Orlando, they've gone two of four so far. Pass to Wagner. Ross against Milton. Ross with it. Eight points in his last time out. Now here's Isaac, pounded by Harris. Here's Wagner. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. And so here is Philadelphia. They trail by one. Pass to Bassey. Harris outside. There's a minute 47 left to play in the first quarter. Four on the clock. It's blocked. And he recovers it. And there's the shot clock violation. Orlando Couldn't get the shot off in time. Orlando making some changes. Carter, he's checked in for Isaac. Okiki comes in for Wagner. And Anthony subbed in for Fultz. Here's Okiki. Pass to Carter. Outside Ross, unloads, and yes, it goes. He's got a little English on that one. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. Ross against Curry. Here's Korkmaz. Pass to Nia. wide open. Orlando grabs the miss. And the defense gets bailed out by the miss. He usually converts that. Now Ross, back to Akiki. Anthony out. 
outside. That was a good call. The defense wasn't a step. Pass to Wagner. Now here's Foltz. Half to the outside. Here's Duncan. Six to shoot. Wagner with it. This one for three. No good there. And for those of you who have followed Harris, he's been in the league a decade now. Doesn't seem like it's been that long, but it has been. And he's rock solid. Five and Harris, the three and the four. Tyrese Maxey is out there with Shake Milton. And it's Bassey in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Outside Fultz. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Isaac, right side. After the outside. Shoots over Maxey. After the outside. Ooh, the turnaround jumper, oh, count it. Anthony's got his second basket on the night. And over his 10 years, Clark, Harris has been remarkably reliable. Yeah, he's as consistent as they come, B.A. He's going to score the ball, he'll rebound, he'll defend. I think he's better now at just making the next pass. And he does it all with a high degree of efficiency. Holtz against Milton. Three-pointer, no good. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch. The game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch. There's always been a lot of talk about Markel Fultz's shooting. But Grant, one sign as to the strides he's made in his first few years in the league was the upward trend in his free throw shooting. And when you see that kind of improvement, B.A., it speaks to the work he's put in. You don't become a great free throw shooter by accident. It takes time and effort, and Fultz put in plenty of both. Shot is up. That shot off. Now Orlando takes it the other way. Next up on the schedule, the Nuggets, a home game. And that's a one-game homestand for the club. Half to the outside. Back to Wagner. The three. And it's Harris with the rebound. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. For three, Maxi on target from range. Maxi's got eight. Really starting to find himself now, guys, after getting shut out in the first quarter. Here's Fultz. And he gets it to go. And the Magic lead by one. Then put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. Magic out in front. It turned out to be a great one. It's both teams trying to gain an edge. Well, the 76ers shooting just around 36%. Not the best execution on the court for the Magic. They've got Jonathan Isaac. Terrence Ross is out there with Markel Fultz. Then there's Wagner. And it's Tiny in at the five. Orlando shooting has been great. 57% and finding ways to score consistently. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, Jonathan Isaac making his return from that knee injury he suffered in the bubble. Through the grueling rehab, he kept hope, kept the faith, and kept working to come back strong. He said it revealed another level of grit and grind inside of him. And guys, he's determined to come back better than ever. Thanks, Allie. Harris up top, Isaac covering. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his first. They'll pin that one on Jonathan Isaac. And, you know, you can't get overly physical with Harris because once you do, he turns it against you and uses it for his good. Curry, he's checked in for the Sixers. Well, Grant, does it seem like teams are carrying fewer specialists than they used to? You know, B.A., I actually think there's more specialists. I mean, think about it. You have certain players who can do everything, who are versatile, who can carry a team. 
but then you surround them and complement them with guys who can knock down open jump shots. So I actually think you have more specialists, a lot of them being shooters, who can space the floor for their ball club. And you know, when Fultz is healthy now, he's a valuable part of this rotation. We've seen him make big strides lately. This one falls for him. Niang, he's checked in for the Sixers. Mark Moss comes in for Thibel. Carter, he's checked in for Orlando. Okiki comes in for Wagner. Simmons against Fultz. Now here's Curry. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. Harris outside. Over Carter, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. At the line for your Sixers, Shake Milton. Shooting one. They're doing some good work at the line this half. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. Outside Fultz. Pass to Duncan. Outside Ross. Over Simmons. That one rolls around and rims out. The defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. And so it's Orlando leading by six. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. Ben Simmons is out there with Matisse Thibel. Then there's Shake Milton. Then it's Maxi, And it's Bassey in at the five down low. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. I'll tell you what, they've been aggressive and they've been physical. Well, they're working the glass, really battling in that area of the game, and that's helped them stake this lead. Yep, that one's good. Excellent activity and timing on the offensive glass. That's how you get extra possession. To the middle. Got a hand on it. Outside Fultz. Simmons against Ross. And it's good for two. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for Orlando? Oh, their defense has been outstanding. Closing out on shots and blocking quite a few as well. They worked hard tonight at crashing the boards as well. They had a bunch of second chance points. Simmons against Ross. Simmons, no good. The Magic have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Duncan, that one falls. Assistant. Nice assist by Fultz. And it's a 12-point Magic lead. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. And, you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Simmons is doubled. Back to Maxi. The floater. The shot off that time. Now Orlando takes it the other way. Outside Fultz. Back to Wagner. To the paint. Shot is good by Isaac. Isaac. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Now a timeout called by Philadelphia. So no problem for Orlando as they get the win. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. Shocked and surprised. See you next time.